so good evening to all of you uh, today in our, in our uh, class instead of uh, annapurni i will handle the class i am kesav murthy you know i think in the very first class i was there so i shall handle mathematics and little bit of mental ability these two things i will handle are you comfortable with my english are you comfortable with my english yes sir ah okay in case you are having any problem you let me know i can go little slow because i am not able to speak uh, malayalam so i will go little slow in english so that everybody is comfortable okay so we'll go to class so let us look at the questions we'll say to we will go with the question i mean we will we'll start with the question we will try to answer the questions hopefully we can answer the questions first question two three questions i will read okay two three questions i will read and then uh, we all will jointly we will try to answer the question the factors of x square plus x minus 12 all of you are able to see the screen yes sir yeah the factors of x square plus x minus 12 are they have given four options x plus 4 and x minus 3 x minus 4 and x minus 3 x plus 2 and x minus 6 x plus 3 and x minus 4 which is the right answer we have to find so i will do this question see if in the these two factors when you multiply these two factors you should get that uh, uh, that equation that is x square plus x minus 12 you should get okay when you multiply x plus 4 into x minus 3 what do you get x into x you are getting x square am i correct x into x are you getting x square x plus 4 into x plus 3 x minus 3 sorry x plus 4 into x minus 3 if you multiply x into x are you getting x, x square yes or no x, yes x square okay then this 4 into x you get 4x and x into minus 3 you get minus 3x when you multiply plus 4 into x i mean in the first factor you have plus 4 the second factor you have x you multiply these two you get 4x plus 4x and if you multiply x and minus 3 you get minus 3x 4x minus 3x is how much 4x minus 3x is how much etra varum 4x minus 3x plus x so that is also there in the factor and 4 into minus 3 etra 4 into minus 3 etra 4 into minus 3 4 into minus 3 plus 4 into minus 3 minus 12 minus 12 so option 1 is the right answer because x plus 4 and x minus 3 if you multiply these two you get that factor x square plus x minus 12 okay let us see whether the second option is right or wrong second option is x minus 4 and x minus 3 is it right let us see whether it is right or wrong see x x into x you are getting x square no no problem minus 4 into x you are getting minus 4x and x into minus 3 you are getting minus 3x Minus four x minus three x. How much it comes? Minus four x plus two. Huh? Plus two. No, minus four x and minus three x. How much you are getting? Minus four x and minus three x. It will be equal to minus seven x. Minus four x into minus three x uh, plus minus three x is equal to. It comes to minus seven x. So that is not correct. Similarly, minus four into minus three, you will get plus twelve. but in the factor we have given minus 12 likewise you have to multiply the factors and get that uh, 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 factor only those factors are the right answer so what is the right answer here what is the right option here is it 1 2 3 <laughs> or 4 which is the option one, one first option is the right answer very good okay are you with me all of you are you with me hello are you able to understand yes sir yes sir manaslayo okay Se second question can i read second question in a triangle abc angle a is 60 degree 
ए बी एंड ए सी ए बी इज इक्वल टू ए सी देन ए बी सी इज कॉल्ड एंगल ए इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री एंगल आई मीन ए बी इक्वल टू ए सी देन ए बी सी इज कॉल्ड वट टाइप ऑफ ट्राइंगल इज दिस यू ड्रॉ ए ट्राइंगल इन यूर नोटबुक पुट ए इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री ए बी सी यू ड्रॉ एंड यू आर पुटिंग ए इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एंड यू आर ए बी सी यू आर गिविंग ऑल द थ्री यू नो वेक्स ए बी इज ईक्वल टू ए सी इन टर्म्स ऑफ लेंथ ए बी इज ईक्वल टू ए सी इन टर्म्स ऑफ लेंथ देन वॉट टाइप ऑफ ट्राइंगल इट इज Sir, is it equilateral triangle? Yes, very correct. Equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Fantastic. What is the definition of equilateral triangle? Three sides and three angles are equal. Yeah, three sides are equal. Angles are equal. Fantastic. Here, A equal to sixty. A B equal to A C. It means angle B is equal to angle C. Since all three angles in a in a tri triangle put together is one eighty, already angle A is sixty, so balance is one twenty. So angle B plus angle C is equal to one twenty, but angle B and angle C are equal, so B equal to sixty degree, C equal to sixty degree, so A equal to sixty, B equal to sixty, C equal to sixty. So it is an equilateral triangle. Okay, now I, I will ask one. What is meant by isosceles triangle? Two sides equal, opposite angles equal. Two sides are only equal. Other third side is not equal to other two sides. That is called isosceles triangle. In Malayalam, what do you say in isosceles triangle? Tell me. Sama parsel number two. Two pakkam sama. Sama parsel gone. Two pakkam uh, equal. Okay, okay, very good. so i am also trying to learn malayalam from you little bit so should i try okay what is a right angle triangle what one is... angle 90 degree ha huh? one angle with 90 degree one angle is 90 degree that is right angle triangle okay one theorem will apply for a right angle triangle what is the theorem pythagoras pythagoras pythagoras, pythagoras theorem What is the meaning of the Pythagoras theorem? Can you can you tell me the equation? Pythagoras theorem. Base square plus altitude square gives hypotenuse square. Yeah, the hypotenuse square is equal to addition of the squares of other two sides. Am I correct? The hypotenuse is the side which is opposite to ninety degree. That is called hypotenuse, and that length uh, hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the square of the other two sides very good fantastic let us go to question number 7 because we are in this page we'll straight away after 2 we are going to 7 fine can you read somebody can you can you read the question sir can you read the question seventh question find the square root of 6.25 okay find the square root of 6.25 how will you find So what is the answer? Sir, so two point five. Two point five. Is it two point five or two point zero five? Two point five, sir. Two point five. Okay. So how will you find out this? If you multiply two point five again by two point five, you should get six point two five. Correct. If you multiply by two point five and into two point five, you'll get six point two five. That is the answer. Okay, so you have to find like that. Now, from the answer, you can go and from the option, you can find what is the right answer. If you multiply point zero two five into point zero two five, that is option one. Then it will come to point zero 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 something like that. If you multiply two point zero zero five and two point zero zero five, it will come four point something. If you Uh, multiply 2.05 and 2.05 again it will give 4 point something only only when you multiply 2.5 and 2.5 you will get 6.25 okay so that is very good fantastic so if you know the uh, square i mean if you know the uh, multiples of 5 you can find get the answer 5 5 into 5 is 
फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू फाइव इट इज इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू फाइव इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू फाइव ऑल फोर फाइव इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दैट विल बी सिक्स पॉइंट टू फाइव सो फ्रॉम दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन फाइंड आउट ओके गो टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एट कैन एनी बडी रीड क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सर कैन आई या प्लीज If two y minus seven equal to one, then va- the value of y is hmm. dash. So when the value of y is equal to how much? What is the answer? So is it four? Four. four. Yeah, it four. is four. four. How four. do we do it? Let let me te- let me explain how we do it. Two y minus seven is equal to one. So you keep the unknowns on the left hand side, knowns on the right hand side. So I am keeping two y on the left hand side of the equation. Uh, left hand side of the equal sign, and I am taking seven on the other side, so that becomes plus seven. When you go other side, that uh, sign will change. So one plus seven that is equal to eight. Two y is equal to eight, so y equal to eight by two that is equal to four. Okay, very good, fantastic. Going is good. This is a little easy question paper, but uh, no, uh, your actual question paper will not be much different from this. It will be like this only. Thoda difficult hoga. Korch difficult irko. Okay. Can you see this picture? Question number three. Can you see this picture? In the given figure, angle X is equal to one four four degree. One hundred and forty four degree. What is angle Y? Thirty six degree. So how did you find out? One eighty minus one forty four. Why? Why one eighty minus one forty four? Why did you take one eighty? Angle sum will be one eighty. Angle of a straight line is one eighty. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Ah, that is the principle you should get. Angle of all three, uh, all three angles of triangle put together is how much? One eighty. One eighty. One eighty. All four angles of a quadrilateral put together is how much? Uh, 360. All four 360. angles of a quadrilateral put together is how much? 360, sir. 360. All four angles of a square is equal to how much? 360. 360. All four angles of a rectangle is how much? 360. Yeah. All four angles of a parallelogram is how much? All four angles of a rhombus is how much? You know rhombus? W- what do you call in Malayalam rhombus? Sir. Rhombus ka uh, what is the name? Pair in the rhombus ka Malayalam? Sai sadrama. What is the name for the square in Malayalam? Sama chaturam. Sama chaturam. Upper rhombus is sai chaturam because it's a tilted square. Okay, sai chaturam. In Tamil, it is called sai chaturam. Maybe in Malayalam also, maybe similar to that. Okay, let us go to question number nine. Can anybody read question number nine? Can I? Question number nine. Can you read? The product of minus one into minus. No, the product of x minus one into two x minus three. I think let me let me make it big. Then you will understand. The product of x minus one into two x minus three is how much? You have to multiply x minus one and two x minus three. And find which option is correct. Sir, two square minus five x. Ah? Uh, which option? You tell me the option number. Sir, six. Which Eight option? Option. Option. Which option is this? Is it option two? Are you able to hear me? Hello. 
any any network problem are you able to hear me hello are you able to hear me yes sir ha ah. so which option is correct option second option am i correct why x into 2x yes, is 2x square minus 1 into 2x is minus 2x minus 3 into x into minus 3 is minus 3x so minus 2x minus 3x that comes to minus 5x and minus 1 into minus 3 is equal to plus 3 so 2x square minus 5 plus 3 is the answer okay have you understood all of you please understanding uh, are you able to understand hello yes sir okay 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 then go to question number 4 can anybody read question number 4 given A minus B whole square also given. They are asking addition of A plus B whole square and A minus B whole square. You have to add one forty four plus four. That is one forty eight. Suppose they ask you like this: What is the value of A plus B plus A minus B? There is no square. Let us say A plus B plus A minus B. What is the what is the answer? So A plus B whole square. Equal to one forty four. What is a plus b? How much is a plus b? Is it twelve? Is it only twelve? Is it plus twelve or minus twelve? Is it plus twelve or minus twelve? It can be plus twelve. It can be minus twelve also. Am I correct? Either plus twelve yes. or minus twelve. Understood? Are you with me, students? Yes, sir. A plus B whole square is one forty four means A plus B can be plus twelve, can be minus twelve. Suppose if it is plus twelve, then plus twelve into plus twelve will give one forty four. Minus twelve into minus twelve also will give plus one forty four. Then A minus B whole square is four. Then what is A minus B? Two. Twelve. No, A minus B is how much? Two. Plus two. Two or minus two. Two or minus two. If that is the case, a plus b, a plus b plus a minus b. I mean, value of a addition of a plus b and a minus b will be how much? If you add, if you take plus and plus, plus twelve plus two, then it will come fourteen. But if you take minus twelve and plus plus two, it will come minus ten. But if you take uh, plus twelve and minus two, then it will come plus ten. And if you take plus twelve and minus, uh, sorry, uh, this one, uh, this will come fourteen, and uh, this one, uh, this one is uh, minus ten, minus ten, and this minus fourteen. So there could be four answers. There can be four answers. That is fourteen minus ten plus ten minus fourteen. So like that, four answers you will get. Anyway, that question is not asked here. But you should know how to find an answer like this. Okay? Suppose the question is like that. If you see a plus b whole square equal to one forty four, then if they ask a plus b is how much, then you should say it is either plus twelve or minus twelve. Manaslayo, understood? Students, have you understood? Yes, sir. Ah, read question number ten. One of you. One of you read question number ten, please. The price of a scooter was thirty-four thousand last year. It has increased by twenty-five percent this year. Then the increase in price is. Okay, last year the price of the scooter is thirty-four thousand. This year it has gone up. It has increased by twenty-five percent. So they are asking how much it has increased. Find out 
on your own. So second option. Is it second option? How did you get it? You tell me what is the uh, what did you do? Sir, twenty five percent means uh, twenty five by hundred into uh, thirty four thousand. Correct. Twenty five divided by hundred into thirty four thousand. Twenty five divided by hundred is one by four into thirty four thousand. That is thirty four thousand divided by four. That is equal to eight thousand five hundred. Very good. Fantastic. Going is good. So question number five, we will go. So you read the now the girl who has answered this. Can you read this fifth question? Yes, sir. The points negative eight and uh, comma negative fifteen lies in which quadrant? Hmm. The points minus eight and minus fifteen lies in which quadrant? No, in the quadrant means you will have in the graph on the x-axis and y-axis. No, in that four quadrants yes, are sir. there. Four quadrants. So in which quadrant minus eight and minus fifteen lies? Okay, let me do this problem. The first quadrant in the first quadrant, both x and y will be positive. In the second quadrant, x will be negative, y will be positive. In the third quadrant, x will be negative, y also will be negative. So, what is the answer for this question? Third quadrant, uh, third quadrant. Very good. So what will be the fourth quadrant? How it will be? Tell me. Which is negative? Which is positive? Fourth quadrant. The fourth quadrant. X will be positive. Y will be negative. Am I correct? Hello. You want to show me? Uh, you want me to show the pictures? Picture, Paklama. Four quadrants of x and y axis. Four quadrant of x and y axis. We'll see. Why it's not working? Hmm. Are you getting it? Are you able to see this? Hello, children. Are you able to see this? Ah, yes, uh, you, you, you see, read here. Quadrant one. Both x and y coordinates are positive. Quadrant two. X coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive. Quadrant three. Both x and y coordinates are negative. Quadrant four. X coordinate is positive, Y is negative. See, in this, I'll make this picture bigger. I think this is the maximum. Ah, are you able to see this? Hello, children, students. Can, can yes, you? Sir. Ah, in the quadrant one, that is X axis and Y axis are positive. In quadrant two. x axis is negative and y axis is positive that is like minus 4 and 0 that one and quadrant 3 both are negative and quadrant 4 x axis is positive y is negative 0 comma minus 5 in this x is positive y is negative understood can we go to the next question Okay, we'll go to the next question. Okay, right. Now you read question number eleven. Somebody can read this. Quick, quick. Somebody can read the question eleven. Okay, I will read. 
an almira was sold at 5225 after allowing a discount of 5% find its market price an almira was sold at 5225 an al almira is was sold at 5225 after allowing discount of 5% find its market price how will you find okay all of you have gone to shopping for onam did you go for shopping for onam now you are able to i think you now you are able to listen to my voice are you are you able to hear my voice yes sir ah earlier yes, i think there was, there was some network yes, problem sir. so now you have seen this picture y axis x axis quadrant 1 quadrant 2 quadrant 3 quadrant 4 have you seen this Hello? yes yes ah now we'll go to the next question okay so can you read question number 11 Question number eleven. Can you read? An Almira was sold at five thousand two hundred twenty-five after allowing a discount of five percent. Find its market price. Okay. Now I'll read again. An Almira was sold at five thousand two hundred twenty-five after allowing a discount of five percent. Find its market price. so they are giving a discount after that it is sold at 5225 so will the market price will be more than 5225 or less than 5225 more than more than so if it is more than then option 1 and 2 are not the answers out 1 and 2 are rejected option 3 and 4 either option 3 or option 4 will be the answer so let us take option 3 first 5500 let us take that figure and you give 5% discount how much you will reduce 5500 5% is how much 5500 10% is how much 5500 ka 10% 550 yes sir uh, 5% is how much 275 550 5% is or 10% is 550 5% is 275 half of it yes sir 225 ah 225 sorry 225 ah 225 no is it 225 ah 225 yes so now you reduce 225 and you find out what is the figure So five thousand two hundred and seventy-five has to come. No? One minute, one minute. I think two. No, after the thing is two seventy-five. No, five five zero five five thousand five hundred. Ten percent of five thousand five hundred is five fifty. Five percent of five uh, five thousand five hundred is two hundred and seventy-five. Not two hundred twenty-five. Calculate five fifty divided by two. How much you are getting? You are getting two hundred and seventy-five. So from the five thousand five hundred, you minus two hundred and seventy-five. So how much you are getting? Five thousand five hundred minus two seventy-five. How much are you getting? Five thousand two twenty-four. Two twenty-five is coming. So that is already given. So third option is the answer. Okay, you can find from the option also. You can go back. and get the uh, find the answer you can find the answer okay go to uh, sixth question 1 by 5 divided by 2 1 by 2 what is the answer how will you do it you have to keep 1 by 5 like that divided by 2 by 2 1 by 2 means what divided by 5 by 2 am i correct 2 2 into 2 4 4 plus 1 5 5 by 2 so if, if there is a divided by then we can make it as into Into five by two, you can put two by five. You can put two by five. I mean, if you want to make it into, you can put ulta two by five. That the uh, one which is in the below, it will go up, and the one which is in the uh, up will come down. 
2 by 5. So what is the answer? 2 by 25? Are you getting option. First option is the answer. Are you getting all of you are uh, okay with me? Okay with, uh, are you yes, understanding? Sir. No, if you yes, have sir. any difficulty, children, yes, students, if you have any difficulty, you please stop me. Sir, Purila, I don't understand what you are saying. You repeat it again or show me in some pictures. Something like that, you tell me, I will do it. Since all these questions are not very difficult, I don't say it is easy, but it is not very difficult. I am assuming that you understand everything. In case you don't understand, you let me know. Okay, go to question number 12. Anybody read question number 12? Can I? Yeah. Uh, find the perimeter of the quadrant of a circle of diameter 84 centimeter whose in between angle is 90 degrees. Ah. First, you understand the question first. I will read again. Slowly, I will read. All of you also read. Uh, in your mind, mind wise, you read. Find the perimeter of a quadrant of a circle of diameter 84 centimeter whose in between angle is 90 degree. Somebody is coming now. So, in, if it is a circle and a quadrant, circle and a quadrant. So, you have to find, see, the same question I will show you in the Google also, you can find out. Oh, I am not able to copy it. Okay, I mean this one. I will put it here. A quadrant in a circle. Hmm. Like this. This is a quadrant in a circle. Hmm. Just see. The, there is a circle and there is a quadrant. That angle is 90 degree. Now they are asking. What are they asking? Let's go to the question. So here the diameter of the circle is 84 centimeter. What is the radius then? If the diameter of the circle is 84, what is the radius? In the circle... 42. 42. Very good. Now, they are asking, what is the perimeter of this quadrant? The perimeter of quadrant is AO plus OB plus AB. All three you have to add. What is AO? AO, AO is how much in our problem? 42. 42. What is OB? 42. Again 42. What is AB? 42. No, AB is not 42. AB, it is a, it is a curved, curved line. So, what is that? The entire circumference of the circle is, what is the formula? Circumference of the circle, what is the formula? The formula to find the circumference of the circle or perimeter of the circle, you can call it. I mean, it, in, in, when, when it comes to circle, they don't call it as so perimeter. 2 pi r. 2 pi r. So, now yeah. that AB is one-fourth of the perimeter, one-fourth of the circumference. So, 2 pi r divided by 4. Now, you find out 2 pi r divided by 4 is equal to 2 and 4 are cancelled. So pi r by 2. Pi, I am keeping it as pi. I am not... Uh, uh, keeping it as 5, R is 42 divided by 2. So, that comes 21. That is equal to 21 pi. Pi value is how much? What is the value of pi? 3, 22 4. by 7. Isn't it? So, 21 pi is 21 into 22 by 7. How much you are getting? 3 into 22, it, you are getting 66. So, what all you have to add? You have to add AO 42, OB 42 and you have to add that 66. 
Uh, you add 42 plus 42 plus 66. Let's see how much you are getting. Forty-two plus forty-two plus sixty-six. How much are they? Sir, one fifty. One fifty is the answer. That is the right answer. Puri da, I think Puri la na nikera. I think most of you did not understand. Children, have you understood this question? No, you can yes, be sir. frank yes, with me. Sir. You can be frank with me. Yes. Huh? Yeah, tell me. See, find the perimeter of a quadrant of a circle of diameter eighty-four centimeter, whose in-between angle is ninety. I have so instead of drawing by myself, I am showing a picture. Same picture I am showing. So they are asking, what is the perimeter of this this portion? The perimeter of the portion is A O plus O B plus B A. A O is radius. That is that eighty uh, four divided by two. That is forty two. O B is forty two. No problem. So we have to find A B. But if you find the entire thing like this, this will be two pi r. In the two pi r, this portion is only one by four. One uh, by four two uh, uh, pi r. So two pi r divided by four. That is pi r by two. R is forty two. So then. Pi into forty-two by two, that is twenty-one pi. Twenty-one pi twenty-one into twenty-two by seven. If we calculate, that comes to sixty-six. So you have to add forty-two plus forty-two plus sixty-six. So you are getting one fifty. Understood? Okay. If I if the answer is if the question is asked like this, you find the perimeter of semicircle. See this quadrant is hemicircle. One fourth of the circle, but they are asking you to find the perimeter of this perimeter, perimeter of semi-circle, of circle, like this. So, O B that is forty two, O R C put it C R. So O C is forty two. Now this this thing you have to find. What is this thing? How much will be this curved curved line? What is the length? We know this curved line length is how much? Sixty six. So what is this curve line? Sixty-six plus another sixty-six. Am I correct? Sixty-six. Sixty-six plus sixty-six plus forty-two plus forty-two. How much it comes? One fifty. Two one six, isn't it? Two one six is the answer. No, I mean that question is not there. I am just giving you that question. Okay. Go to question number thirteen. Subtract two into p minus q from three into five p minus q plus three. You have to subtract. So the how much is this? Fifteen p minus two. So what is the option? Which option is correct? See, you have to subtract two p minus q two uh, bracket p minus q from three bracket five p minus q plus three. First, you have to uh, expand this three into five p minus q plus three. You can if you expand three into five fifteen p minus three q plus nine. It will get, and then from that you have to minus minus two p plus two q. All of you, please switch on your switch off your mic. Yeah, what is the answer for this? So second one. Second one is the answer. Very good, fantastic. Whoever has said, what is your name, uh, madam? What is your name? Hari Gayatri. Gayatri. Okay, very good. Gayatri, congratulations. Okay, okay. Go go to question number fourteen. We will keep this as the last question. Question number fourteen. Find the average of three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. How will you find average? Mean or average? Number, number. You have to add all the number and divide that by five, isn't it? 
Add all the number and divide by five. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How much you are getting? Nine. Nine, Nine. is the answer. Correct. Nine is the answer. Very good. Very good. Fantastic. So go to question number twenty. The longest chord of a circle is. Sir, is it diameter? Diameter. 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 Chord means yes, a line which touches the two. Ends of the circle. Suppose from here, this is one line. Let's say, let's say I draw a line like this. So this line, one point is here, another point is here. This is a chord. Which is the longest chord? Obviously, it is the diameter is the longest chord. So this will be the longest chord. So that is called diameter. Okay, right. Then question number twenty-one. We'll see. Twenty-one. What is this? What is the what is the one one two three five eight oh what is the next number one one two three five eight what is the next number thirteen 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 one one two three how did you get thirteen adding the last numbers yeah Six last number and the previous number correct. Five plus eight, thirteen. Very good, fantastic. I think you are all uh, very good. Next, okay, we'll close at this. Next week, when if uh, Anupurni cannot come, I will come. But we'll take a tougher question paper, little tougher question paper. Is it okay for you? Yes, sir. This, this question paper yes, looks sir. very easy. Looks as if it's easy for you. But we will take some somewhat tougher question question paper. Okay. So that you will be, you know, uh, you will be made to challenge. You are challenged, or you will be made to work on it, and then uh, give the answer. Okay. So all of you are comfortable with this kind of, uh, you know, class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir.